one is talking about this. Hello. I think it's time we talked about home workouts. Where do we even start? Home workouts are plaguing Instagram fitness videos. Now, I want to tell you about some of the real problems with these home workouts. Most of them aren't very helpful. They may look good, people may look fantastic whilst doing them, but they're fundamentally not helpful because majority of people don't have resistance band or dumbbells or kettlebells in the house because most people usually use gym facilities and now that they're closed and no one can seem to buy fitness equipment, what are you supposed to do? So if you don't have weights or some sort of resistance band, then those sort of exercises are out of the window. But they're also not telling you anything you don't know either. They're just showing you how to do movements whilst at home using the same equipment they use in the gym. Go figure. Easy content, nice. Um, it's a real shame that I kind of feel a lot of people are being misled with <laughs> what's going on with the home workouts as well. We're seeing people do like their chest workout of five different types of press ups. I know for sure that these guys have got dumbbells and kettlebells in the, in the background to get their, get their chest workouts done. Uh, it's almost like when you see um, bodybuilders promoting protein shakes and saying hey drink this protein shake you'll look like me and also train for 20 years and take steroids it's like there's that imbalance I'm seeing an awful lot of people doing alternatives people doing this sort of stuff with no resistance whatsoever these exercises that you've been shown towel rows or towel pulls or whatever they are there's no resistance none whatsoever you can do it without a towel. And training without any resistance at all can be really beneficial. Everything you do in the gym, everything you do in the gym, you can do without weights. It's something people don't realize. You can do absolutely everything. Do a shoulder press. And you can do the lot pull down. It's all about how you contract. But whilst we're not in the gym and there's no resistance, what our training principles tell us is that as the weight goes down, other things need to increase. So reps can increase. Time and detention should increase. Instead of going through the motion and saving day in these towel rows and just pulling down like this, the time and detention should be much greater. If you're going to be doing that, slow everything down and contract at the bottom, really engage those lats. We only ever seem to talk about two types of contraction in the fitness industry. We talk about concentric and eccentric. Your concentric contraction is the upward phase of the bicep curl. It turns there and then we lower it down. This lengthening is eccentric phase. Concentric, eccentric. It's all about movement. And we can slow this down, we can add weight to it, we can do more reps, we can do more sets, we can do all these sorts of things to increase the amount of resistance and volume. But, and here's the big thing, when we're using very little weights, like the stuff that we have around the house, there's another type of contraction that nobody seems to be talking about. This is going to be the most beneficial thing to do. Isometric contractions are going to be key working out at home. And what do I mean by isometric contractions? Holding the contraction still. Holding there. No shortening, no lengthening, with all the muscle fibers staying the same length. This means that they're all working constantly and it's no good just standing here relaxed. It's got to be engaged, it's got to be tight. And this is really good for things like shoulders and back. Shoulders, we can get some low weight stuff that you've got around your house. Bags of flour, tins, bottles of wine, because what else are you going to be stocking up on? I've got two bags of flour, self raising, and plain. Doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> and for a shoulder raise, instead of popping these out to the side constantly, where the time and attention's minimal, you're doing the same action you do if you're using 12 kg dumbbells but we're using half kilogram bags of flour. Just hold. That time and attention is going to go through the roof. Your muscles will get tired and eventually they'll start to fail. And this will take a while. But your muscles work. Keep everything contracted. And I 
after a while it starts to get sore and you start to feel it and then the second time you do this next step it gets harder and harder as your muscles get tired instead of popping up here every single time but no one is talking about this no one is talking about your isometric contractions we do isometric contractions in the gym all the time yet we never think about it let's take the plank for example the plank is one of the best the best ab exercises there's there's no movement there's no lengthening or shortening of the muscles we're just holding tight flat another great exercise that we do isometrically wall sits these are going to be absolutely brilliant whilst you're at home you don't need a lot of weight you just need to hold yourself in a chair position up against the wall this is really great for engaging your quads instead of doing air squats constantly and i'm getting quite annoyed with a lot of these um home workouts that i'm seeing Twenty thousand different ways to do a press up news flash guys a press up is a press up whether you're doing it shoulder width apart narrow wide staggered whatever you're doing it's still a press up it's still going to work your chest this nonsense about having to do it in 500 different ways and doing making it seem like you're doing more more sets because you're doing different exercises it's the, it's, it's the same it's all targeting your chest you will not get really a better workout than doing 10 different types of press ups 10 times than the same type of press up 100 times pretty sure that's how the maths works out anyway um, that's not being silly some of these exercises are absolutely brilliant to do with a partner as well. If the wrist isn't hard enough, any of these exercises, just get someone to push down on the arm and create that resistance so you're pushing against them. Isometric home workouts will be crucial in the coming weeks and months whilst we have to be self-isolated. Another thing that we can use, most people now have an abundance of tins and shopping bags. Put them back in the shopping bags. Put your tins back in your shopping bags and use it as a weight. You don't need a resistance band or dumbbells or kettlebells. Use a shopping bag. Use something you can hold. Some, throw some weight in there. And there you go. You can use your emergency supplies as a way to keep fit as well. If you'd like to see what I do for my home workout, let me know in the comments below. Now, life for me is about staying healthy, it's about staying fit, but home workouts aren't the only way to stay fit. I started running again, that's not fun, just, just go outside, put a pair of trainers on, walk or run. Cardio should be your best friend right now, yeah? I can subscribe, share, tell your friends, please. No, honestly it does really help liking and the subscribing and the sharing. That's it, I think that's my kind of rant about the, uh, the home workout thing. You don't have to do home workouts. There are other ways to exercise. Remember that. Alright. Thanks. Bye. Super simple, guys. Don't make this harder than it needs to be.